Colleen Lolly with the 2018 Peace Medal for Local Impact. It would be difficult to meet anyone whose work embodies various aspects of Kingston more fully. Most people, when asked what Kingston is known for, would mention history, educational institutions, prisons, government, and military. Sister Lally has ties to all five. In 1959, 21-year-old Pauline entered into the sisterhood of the Sisters of Providence of St. Vincent de Paul, a religious order of great historical significance mandated to minister and care for the poor in Kingston since 1861. Identifying strongly as an educator and using her teaching credentials attained before entering, Sister Pauline has taught at every level within Kingston, elementary, high school, and finally at Queen's University. It was in her role as teacher, in fact, that she discovered the power of subversive charm. <laughs> in this case, by using music as an instructional tool. It wasn't until years later her students realized she was actually responsible for educational chaplaincy and not simply the fun music teacher. Throughout her career, she has helped foster awareness of social justice and, bring, and to bring about a change throughout advocacy for everything from social assistance, budgets, cuts, to prison reform, resulting in the return of prison farms as a common sense means of inmate rehabilitation. Admittedly, a bit of a thorn in the side of politicians, she has written and presented countless letters and speeches lobbying government for proactive change. For 20 years, she's maintained a silent vigil on the steps of Kingston City Hall because, as she puts it, the cuts on the back of the poor never went away. She and countless others also believe we have the right to grow up in a city, country, and world that glorifies not the failings of humanity which lead to conflict, war, and all of, um, are all of its sufferings, but rather peace, the ultimate achievement brought about through empathy, compassion, and respect. On the 100th anniversary of the First World War, this year's Peace Medal winner for local initiatives honors um, Sister Pauline Lally for her vision and dedication to the co-creation of Peace Quest. Launched in 2012, this intercultural, interfaith, and nonpartisan movement has expanded across the country with an international reach, but which could only have started in Kingston. It, in, uh, it, in, sorry, it evolved from Sister Pauline's dreams of holding a peace conference, specifically in the Kingston, Cataraqui region, long known as Canada's first capital, with its significant military presence and several correctional institutions, all on traditional Ashwaubi and uh, Anishwabi peace territories, a deeply relevant setting for such an event. From its humble beginnings as a counter-narrative to the glorification of war, Peace Quest has captured the imaginations and ignited the hopes of thousands, <coughs> children and adults, religious and lay, First Nations, newcomers, military veterans and others all dedicated to making common cause with our politicians in order to emphasize and reimagine our country's commitment to peace and social justice. Through its emphasis on partnership, its cultural stream, its effective use of social media, and engaging interactive elements, Peace Quest has broken new ground for the modern day peace movement. So what's the ultimate dream of this local nun, known for her quick wit, as much as for her inspired visions? When asked that question, the answer comes quickly. World peace, of course, and an apartment of my own. <laughs> Please join me in welcoming and congratulating Sister Pauline Lally.
Oh, I didn't think so many people would come out on the first snowstorm. Look at everybody. Anyway, thank you for this honor of which I feel entirely unworthy. But I do feel honored to be receiving the YMCA Peace Medal with Dr. Pichan, who has devoted his time and considerable energies to running medical clinics and sustainable projects for the underprivileged in developing countries, especially since his retirement. Anyone who receives a tribute such as this knows that there's a whole host of people behind it. This award isn't just for me. It's for, I thought, first of all, my parents, Ed and Betty, and my brother Tom and sister Mary Elizabeth. It was they who taught me compassion, humor, and justice. Often around our table with extended family and sometimes neighbors, passionate discussions and arguments about politics and justice regarding both the church and the government of the day took place. From these heated debates, I learned the prophetic dimension of critical thought. <coughs> As well, I had some special teachers who in their wisdom not only taught, but witnessed to an alternative perspective of thinking and acting. Secondly, this honor goes to my community. On table, what is it, six or eight? <laughs> 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 thirteen. Oh, I'll be number thirteen. <laughs>